Hi, this is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Welcome back to deploying and managing Windows 10 using Enterprise Services. In this demo, configuring data access for non-domain joints devices, we'll be configuring work folders. So the first thing I'm going to do is configure infrastructure requirements. So I'm going to install the Windows service. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is bring up Server Manager, click on File and Storage Service, and you'll see Work Folders here. I'm going to go into Tasks, New Sync Share. Next. Now in the local path right here, I'm going to put in Sync share one, one. Doesn't exist. I'm going to create it. User alias for the folder structure. I'm going to accept the default sync name on this right here. I'm going to add marketing. Next. Now I'm going to do is uncheck that one. The other one is going to encrypt work folders, but I'm not going to encrypt it. I'm going to create. Great, and I'm going to close it. And you notice that you can see is on this. Now notice on here under the users, I should see Adam Barr. Yeah, good. So I can see Adam Barr is listed. Type IIS. I'm going to ex expand this over here. I go down to the sites, default website, edit bindings on this sucker. I'm going to add a binding on this. HTTPS. I'm going to add HTTPS here. And the cert. London DC one datum.com. Okay. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to close the IS manager. The next thing I'm going to do and configure group policy. Go to marketing. I'm going to create a link. Come in, in here. I'm going to call this deploy work folders. To edit this one right here. Windows components. I'm going to find work work folders here. Good. The work folders. I'm going to enable it. I have to put the URL. So the work folders URL on ndcdatum.com, and I'm going to force automatic setup. Say OK. Good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is on this, I'm going to go to CL1 and I'm going to sign in as Adam. Now on CL4, 
I'm logging in as admin. Go to settings, accounts. And I'm going to add another user to this PC. So on CL1, let's see if the work folders is here. As you can see, the work folders is here. I'm going to say a new text document. On LAN CL1. That's the name of the file. Now I'm going to do is this. I'm going to, going to go to CL4. Control panel on CL4. Type work. Manage work folders. I'm going to set up work folders. I'm going to enter a work folder URL. It's going to find my data on the work folder. So it's finding the data. And the username is going to be Adam. See so we have here, finding the data. Okay, it shows the location of it. I accept these policies. These are some of the things. Great at syncing the files in the background. Look, on... CL4, it's showing this file right here. Good. Good. Done. Now I'm going to perform the synchronization. This one right here, I'm going to say new text document. I'm going to go back to CL1. See, you can see it on here also. So work folders synchronize every 10 minutes automatically. You can also tr trigger synchronization manually. sync now. Start button, control panel. Network. View network connections. Right click Ethernet. I'm going to disable it. I'm going to go back to work folders. Click on this. Modified offline. Great. Do 
your folder, your text document, offline London dash CL1. Oh. I'm going to go to CL4. And CL4, double click the London CL1. Online modification. Online modification. Good. Save. Now I'm going to go back. CL1. Enable it. And I go to work folders. See, they're all here. So see, because the file was modified, two locations of conflict occurred, and one of the copies was renamed. 